Hey guys, it's Tasha from Starring You, and in today's video, I wanted to share with you a site called Bulkly. So Bulkly is a site that enables you to always keep your buffer queue filled with content. So a lot of people, I, I'm sure you've probably seen in previous videos that I've done, I like to automate any tasks that are kind of repetitive, if you will. And so making sure that I constantly have content to share on social media can be a little bit repetitive. So if I want to share um, old blog posts or, you know, repurpose some of my content and get that out there, I typically will use Buffer to do that, okay? But one of the shortcomings of Buffer is that once that content is shared via, you know, wh whether it be Twitter, or Facebook, Instagram, whatever I'm using, I have to manually go back in and re that particular piece of content if I want to share it again. So let's say I've got evergreen content, right? If I have an evergreen content, for those that are not familiar with that term, that means content that is not timely in manner. So for example, if I did a post about back to school, that's not evergreen content. Why? Because that piece of content only makes sense if I'm sharing about back to school sales or whatnot during the back to school back to school period, which is typically what August to early September, right? So it wouldn't make sense for me to share content that has yeah, it wouldn't make share it make sense for me to share that type of content outside of that time frame. So evergreen content is content that I can share regardless of what time of the year it is. So these are the type of posts that I like to continue to have filled in my queue, okay? But if I were to just use Buffer, I would have to kind of manually go in and pick out which one of these particular pieces of content that I want to use. Now, Bulkly, and this is why I wanna share this with you guys, enables you to always keep your Buffer queue 100% filled. I think that is awesome. So I pretty much have created, well, okay, let me jump into that. But guys, I want to make sure that you sign up for this. It's free for seven days. And uh, quite frankly, guys, the pricing is very reasonable, okay? 12 bucks a month. I, I You can't beat that, okay, guys? You really can't. For what they are offering, to me, this is a very good deal. And in addition to that, I just, I don't know, guys, my time is valuable. So if I don't have to think about, you know, having to make sure that I am manually sharing like older posts and things of that, things of that nature, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So one of the ways that you can go through and make sure that you're always sharing content is by creating a CSV file. I'm going to actually show you guys this function because I think this is really cool. So I've already done that. I've created a CSV file. And this is what my CSV looks like. So I have the group. You have the ability to actually group your status updates. And then I have the actual social update that I want to, you know, the content that I want to say. And then here's the URL. And then here is the image URL. So all of that is going to be uploaded into my queue. So I'm gonna go ahead, make this bigger, upload. All right, look at that guys, you see that? So everything is now uploaded into this queue, okay? Now, I have the ability, and again, I, I group this as Twitter, so that's why this name right here is showing up as Twitter. So I'm gonna click on Twitter to make sure that these updates are the ones that are going to be shared on Twitter. So the moment that my buffer queue is empty, it's going to automatically start taking content from here and filling my queue with that. And this is how, this is, I'm getting ready to show you why and how it's gonna do that. So recycle posts, I'm gonna enable recycling. I don't want it to share the same posts for more than, I don't know, let's say seven days, all right? 
add an auto image. So this one I'm actually going to, in the event that you have different images associated with that particular URL, it'll go ahead and add that for you. Me, I'm a little hesitant about adding auto adding anything. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that alone. Shuffling posts, I'm gonna go ahead and enable that, which means that it'll just go ahead and, I mean, like it says, shuffle the posts. And then I have the ability to add different hashtags based on the platform that I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that because I have already added in my hashtags in my social status update. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click activate, okay? All right, so it's just letting us know your post will begin to drip based on your buffer, uh, buffer settings, which is fine. And editing my group, it's just letting me know that I can change parameters um, as I see fit. Again, I really like the fact that they walk you through a lot of what you need to do. So this schedule right here, guys, let's say I want to post on an hourly basis, okay? I want to have two posts per hour. And let's say I want that to start for today. If I want something sent to the top buffer queue, that means that it's actually going to be sent out sooner rather than later, okay? So keep that in mind. And then if I highlight this, only send if the queue has X amount of empty slots, and that's what I can choose here. So if my buffer queue has three empty slots, or let's say four empty slots available, that's when all of these will be sent to fill my queue. I don't want that, so I'm gonna turn that off. I want mine sent <laughs> as, you know, I just want mine to continuously run, to be quite honest with you. So, um, and again, I wanna have two cent an hour. So let me go ahead and save this, okay? And now I'm gonna go to buffer and I'm gonna actually just share this little piece right now. So I wanna show you guys how quickly it will share the content. And again, this is based on your schedule for Buffer. So there you go. You saw that, guys, how it started to seep in? You saw that, how it dripped? Because my queue was empty. So now it saw that it was empty, so it's going to share this particular piece of content, and that's it right there. If you're looking for a new way, you see that, guys? So again, I really, really enjoy this, uh, enjoy this tool. There's so many different ways that you could go about making sure that your buffer queue is always filled with content that your audience is going to enjoy. They have the ability to also do RSS automation. So you could upload your RSS feeds and constantly have content out there. And you can do, uh, you have the ability to look at your analytics. That's something that's coming soon. And yeah, I just, I really like this account, guys. I really, really enjoy having the ability to constantly have my evergreen content, and not just evergreen content, but again, primarily my evergreen content being shared via the various platforms that I belong to. So I highly suggest that you guys take, check out Bulkly. Give it a spin. I would, I'm curious to see what your thoughts are regarding this. And again, some people may be like, well, why are you automating your social media? Again, guys, when I say automate your social media, I am saying your content that's more evergreen, okay? I am not saying check out of social media completely because I do, you know, and anyone who knows me can see on my feed, I do check in quite a bit in order to ensure that people know that I'm a real human being. I'm not just sharing these articles and not 
trying to engage in conversation. So again, you need to make sure that you have a balance whenever you use a tool like this. One more thing I wanted to show you guys too is that in the event that you don't want to use a CSV file, you have the ability to actually import your posts that are already in Buffer as your updates as well, okay? But again, I don't have that much in my queue, as you saw. I So I just wanted to show you the CSV as an option, but you have the ability to actually add content a variety of different ways. And again, they have so many little screen tips that will enable you to see, you know, how does this function work? How does this work? And look at that guys, Twitter. And it even says two posts per hour. And that's how it's going to feed my buffer queue. You know, once this is, this is gone, this is going to be the next tweet, if you will. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change that because I don't necessarily want mine going out two times per hour. I want to change that. But again, for the purpose of this demonstration, I just want to make sure that you guys were able to see that. Um, I personally like posting once per hour. Um, that's just me. You don't have to do that. But again, that's something that I am going to do. And again, if you look at my buffer queue, it's kind of you can kind of see that too, except for the very early morning hours. But I know I have quite a few people that are overseas, so I want to make sure that I still have some content going, you know, so to reach that particular audience as well. So again, guys, I truly, truly, truly hope that you um, are getting a lot out of this particular tool. I want you guys to try Bulkly out see what you think about it. Again, guys, I really, really would love to see your thoughts regarding this tool. Please be sure to check out Bulkly in the description and let me know what your thoughts are, guys. What do you think about these type of tools? Because again, I love this tool. I actually think it's great for what it offers and the price. I, I, I don't know. Seems like a good deal to me. So very curious to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.